Hello there. This week has been a fascinating one to sit down and look at the reactions from political parties and individuals within those parties around attack ads, because attack ads are one of those things that are kind of bread and butter during an election campaign and outside of an election campaign, which, you know, is not ideal. We don't like the idea of our politicians being attacked or attacking others. It just doesn't quite sit right in our head. And it was one of the reasons why Jacinda's be kind message kind of resonated with some people. But Jacinda's no longer involved. So we're starting to see a real shift in the landscape to how people campaign. And it's really, really fascinating to sit down and look at. So for example, we saw this week, the National Party get all upset at the Council of Trade Unions putting out an attack ad. On Christopher Luxon, because Christopher Luxon is the head of the National Party and they don't agree with the National Party policies. Now the CTU is registered as a third party promoter. This list here are all the third party promoters that are registered with the Electoral Commission. Huh, that's odd. Julian Batchelor's on that list, which I guess means he paid the fee, which I guess means he admits he is actually trying to influence election outcomes. Who would have seen that coming? Hmm. Anyway, on this list you'll find a whole bunch of organisations like Groundswell New Zealand, uh, the Taxpayers Union, even Forest and Bird are on there because at some point they're going to put out material that tries to influence the way that you decide to vote. And that's really, really important to know is happening in the background. It means that you can sit there and go, okay, who is providing this information and where does it come from? Now when it comes to attack ads, well, this is their money and how they choose to run it is theirs. They have to meet certain criteria around advertising requirements and broadcasting requirements, depending on where the attack ads go out. But they basically have to be able to prove what it is that they're saying. So things like a personal attack tends to be relatively rare, unless it's on something like a social media feed and a personal capacity, which is, you know, a little bit more murky in terms of the rules. But if we have a look at the actual attack ads that they ran, they're all taken from quotes from Christopher Luxon, things he has actually said. That's not a personal attack. That's an attack on policy. Hmm. I mean, it's not like Michael Woodhouse doing this, or the fact that Nikki Hagar wrote a whole book about the attack policy plans from the National Party and just how dirty it is. So when the National Party comes out and starts crying that it's not fair, they're being mean to me, it does kind of reek of desperation. Because at the same time, their new tax plan is being absolutely trawled through the media. The media are not happy with it still. And the launch that they had over the weekend kind of fizzed out because there were no big announcements. It was basically a, yeah, we're here, we're campaigning, what more do you want? So, um... This feels a little bit like a distraction, really. And it's a term that they call throwing the cat on the table, which is a term coined by a British politician who was working with Boris Johnson, which is basically if things aren't going your way, throw a cat on the table and everyone will talk about that instead. And you know what? I'm talking about it, so I guess it kind of works. It's going to be a long, long six weeks.